Everybody has got faith assumptions about God, about eternity. About human nature, about moral truth. And we've bet our lives on them and we press for them and there's no way that we avoid being doctrinal. Now, having said that, what's the doctrine of Christmas? It is frankly doctrinal because look what it says. It says the eternal. It says the word of life. The invisible has become visible. The eternal, uh, the incorporal, has become corporal. From night then came the morning. Has, in other words, God has become human. The absolute has become particular. The ideal has become real. God has become human. The divine has, has taken up a divine nature. Uh, taken up a human nature. And you see, this is not only a very, very uh, specific doctrine, but it's also unique. And the doctrine always distinguishes you. One of the reasons we're afraid of talking about doctrine is because it distinguishes us from others, but we can't help that. And here's why it's unique. On the one hand, you've got religions that say God is so imminent in all things that incarnation is normal. There's a whole family of religions that say God is in everything. God is imminent in everything. God is the divine spark in everything and therefore incarnation is normal. Christians say Jesus is the God man and, and people from that family say sure, okay. It's, it, incarnation is normal. On the other hand you've got a family of religions like Islam and Judaism that say God is so transcendent over all things that incarnation is impossible. God, man, blasphemous. But Christianity is unique. It doesn't say incarnation is normal, but it doesn't say it's impossible. It says God is so imminent that it is possible but he is so transcendent that the incarnation of God in the person of Jesus Christ is a universe sundering, history altering, life transforming, paradigm shattering event. Unbelievable, revolutionary, universe sundering, history altering, life transforming event. It's unique, therefore. Christianity has an absolutely unique view. We saw it, we heard it. Own eyes, own ears, we felt it. This eternal life. He says, when we give you these accounts of Jesus walking on the water, of Jesus rising from the dead, of Jesus speaking in these words, these are not legends. These are not things we made up. These are not, uh, these are not wonderful spiritual parables. These are things we saw. We saw it. We saw him do this. We heard him do this. We felt him do this. We were there, we saw it, we heard him. Or you know the story of the uh, resurrection. Ah, many people say, what's well, a wonderful story. John is saying, no, 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 I felt him. We touched him, resurrected flesh. I saw him eat the fish. I saw him come through the doors. 
I saw Thomas put his fingers in, his, in, his, in the holes in his hands. We saw it. In other words, the doctrine of Christmas is that God became historical, that what happened to Jesus Christ are not wonderful events, the manger, the resurrection, the story of Jesus is not just a story. It's a history. It's true. It actually happened in history.